I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on rational exponents. Solve for x. The equation given to us is x to the power of 0 0.6 times x to the power of 2 over 3 times square root x divided by this is the 15th root of x to the power of 19 minus cube root of 8 equals to 4 to the power of 0. So you need to simplify this equation and find the value of x. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by writing this equation powers in one order, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 means 6 over 10, right? So we could write this as 6 over 10. That is 0 0.6. Then we have x to the power of 2 over 3, and then we have x to the power of half right and this is this is let's write down this as x to the power of 19 over 15 right over 15 minus this is cube root of 8 so what is cube root of 8 cube root of 8 is 2 right so cube root of 8 is 2 anything to the power of 0 is 1 correct right? So that is how we'll simplify it. And now we'll combine all these x terms and see what all this is. So we have x to the power of, we'll add these components, the exponents. So we have 6 over 10 plus 2 over 3 plus half and minus, since this is to be divided, 19 over 15, right? Taking minus to the right side, we get 1 plus 2 perfect. Now let's combine them. So what is the common denominator here? Common denominator will be 30, right? So let's have 30 as the common denominator. Then this becomes 3 times 6, which is 18, plus that will be 10 times, so 20. This will be 15 times, so plus 15, minus 2 times, right? So 38. And this is equals to 1 plus 2 as 3. Now let's see what is all that equals to. Let's use the calculator, add them up. Right? So it is 18 plus 20 plus 15 minus 38 equals to 15. So we get 15 over 30. So that is what we get as exponent of 3. And we have equals to 3 here. Now, uh, let us take it on the right side and find the solution. So, we, we are very, very close to the solution now. So, x to the power of 15 over 30 really means it is x to the power of half is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 square. So, x is equal to 9, right? So, so our answer is x equals to 9. I'd like you to go through this video, understand how we deal with these exponents. So we have variety of ways in which we can write rational exponents, which are very beautifully shown in this particular video. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.